Welcome to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate your earthly self. We're gonna plant one of my favorite vegetables today, garlic. We plant a soft neck variety here in Central Texas. It's gonna need about a month of cold temperatures, those between 32 and 50 degrees. That's gonna trigger the bulbing. And then in the spring, as those days get longer, those bulbs will get bigger. It does require a fluffy soil. You want those bulbs to be able to grow really well. So something well amended with compost. You could go 30 to 40% compost in your garden bed, add that in there with some organic fertilizer. If you've got a heavy clay soil, you could probably go 50% compost, work that in real good. All right, you wanna plant some garlic? Let's do it. Gonna get started here with some nice, firm, organic garlic heads. I've saved these from my crop this past spring. I know they're in good shape. Got my gloves, a hori hori knife. It's got some good reference points for spacing, seed, seed depth, in this case, garlic clove depth. Rock phosphate, we're gonna put a little bit of that down in the soil, put the garlic clove on top of it. That's gonna help the roots get established. I've got my spacing grid here. I'm gonna plant the garlic cloves nine per square foot. Real easy to do. Just flip it, keep planting, flip it, keep planting. Okay, uh, some of you may be familiar with the head of garlic and breaking it apart for individual cloves and using that for cooking and whatnot. And either way, uh, you're gonna take your head of garlic prior to planting gonna take some of that paper stuff off see that point there that's where the green growth is gonna come out of and this is gonna end up being the root all right so this little guy probably not worth planting you could give it a shot wouldn't hurt anything you just might not end up with a big head of garlic not a whole lot of energy in that thing Okay, so regardless, you're gonna keep going around and repeating that process, keeping the larger, most viable cloves of garlic, taking off some of the extra paper. You don't have to take off all of it. It's not a big deal, just some of it. There you go. All right, so keep, keep on breaking this apart until you got it separated and all the cloves are on their own. And once you get to that point, then they'll be ready to plant. You always want to wait until you're ready to plant the garlic before you break it up because you'll help uh, retain the most viability. All right, let's plant some garlic, shall we? I'm just marking my places where I'm going to put the garlic cloves and then I'm going to go back and do that all at once. Kind of do this in phases here. Just the process that I like to do. You can come up with your own thing. Okay, I was saying that I'm going to be using rock phosphate. Uh, that's a good source of uh, phosphorus. There are other sources of phosphorus. Uh, you can use a all-around fertilizer with a higher middle number. All right, so now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of phosphate where I'm going to put that garlic clove. All right, I've got my spacing ready. I've got my rock phosphate in place. I've got my garlic cloves broken up. Remember, like I said, this is where the root's gonna grow, the pointy bit, that will, that's where the green growth will be. Okay, so we're planting these garlic cloves at a depth of one to two inches. I'm gonna come back and add some finished compost on top of this. Give it a little bit extra organic matter. It's gonna be nice and neat. These should sprout in the next couple of weeks. If we don't get any rain, I'm going to make sure and give them about a good inch of watering per week. You continue that through the growing season. You're also going to want to follow up with more feeding. Give them a lot of nitrogen. That leafy growth is going to correspond to some of the bulbing activity. You still need some phosphorus in there, so look for a balanced fertilizer. I like to use fish emulsion, molasses seaweed and cottonseed meal those are some of my favorites 
Yeah, so you know, I just planted a whole lot of garlic. And I bet I'll have some that I can share with other people. That's always a good thing to do in your community with your neighbors, your friends, your co-workers. Give you something positive to talk about. And either way, it's garlic. Keep the vampires away. Keep the mosquitoes away. Probably keep some people away too. All right, that's how I like to grow garlic here in my backyard in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching. Why don't you leave me a comment or a question below and please subscribe to my page.